if, if we look at the problem of antibiotic use, um, there are organisms on the planet now which are, are immune to all antibiotics. Um, for many years, we, we had a classification of antibiotics called MDR, which was multi-drug resistant uh, bacteria. So they were re resistant to two or three um, antibiotics. And then that developed into extensively drug resistant. And that meant they were resistant to four, five, six, seven antibiotics. And now, um, within the past couple of years, we have a new classification, which is called PDR, I believe, pan-drug resistant, which means they're immune to all antibiotics. So there are no antibiotics left that can treat these infectious agents. Um, the two that come to mind are tuberculosis, which is very common, very problematic, um, especially in New York City and in the United States. Uh, high rate of tuberculosis. Um, many people carry it, and they're not aware of it. Um, uh, NDM1 is a, is a new strain out of India, New Delhi, India, and that has made its way to um, Britain and Australia and uh, now the United States. So uh, these strains are just spreading, and this is one of, this is one of the um, paradoxes of antibiotic use. The, the use of antibiotics is, is such that um, eventually you cannot use antibiotics because the environmental pressure from the use of antibiotics are um, um, out, outdates antibiotics. So if I use antibiotics, that means eventually I won't ever be able to use antibiotics. It's, it's just that simple. You cannot, um, it, it kind of selects, it selects itself to eliminate because of these sort of natural pressures or these natural effects that take place. So if I use an antibiotic, I instantly create antibiotic resistant strains. And the more I use antibiotics, the, the more resistance we see. And that's what we're seeing in the world, which is why uh, antibiotics are antibiotics are one of the, the three top threats to human health.